Hi, this is Jenny Brav of Radiant Thomas Healing, and today's video is on healing the inner child, especially if you're feeling triggered and you know that all the stuff has been activated, younger versions of you are out of sorts. This is helpful for that. And if you have specific memories that have gotten activated, then I have a video linked below that might be even more appropriate. And before we start tapping, I'm going to briefly show you what I call the fourth in, which I think is one of the most helpful shortcuts for working with an activated younger part. Because often when our younger selves get activated, the adult knows that we're more mature or wiser or who wants to have release whatever the belief for the coping strategy might be, will tug at the younger parts or make them wrong or abandon them by focusing on whatever is happening externally that might have activated us. And when that happens, that inner child is going to usually feel more annoyed, frustrated, sad, scared, whatever it is that they're feeling and dig their heels even more. So of course, and is a way of acknowledging the child part and also updating the information to current time in a way that allows to create a new split. And we'll briefly incorporate that into the tapping that I wanted to show you beforehand because it can be a standalone practice too. So the, of course, is a way of acknowledging whatever this part of you that's triggered is feeling based on what your younger self experienced in childhood. So it might look like, of course, you're feeling scared, powerless, angry. It's reminding you of all the times you didn't feel heard, you got the message that you moved through the matter. It's okay to feel that way. And you can, of course, update or, um, and you can, of course, modify with anything that feels true to your current situation. And then the end is a way to update the information to current time. And we're not five, 12, whatever it might be anymore. And I, your adult self, have so many resources and choices you didn't have. And you're not alone, I've got you. And we have so much more support than you had. Again, whatever it might be. So this is a way of doing a both end. All right, having said that, let's get started. And feel free to pause the video if it's helpful to feel into what emotions, what beliefs, what age range might be present in what got activated. And when you're ready, we're going to jump right in. And as always, tap along with me or do your own set of points. Feel free to modify the words to match your situation. And you can repeat what I'm saying out loud or in your head. Even though my inner child is really activated right now. And part of me wants to soothe my inner child. And part of me really wants to lash out at the world or the catalyst for this trigger. I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Deeply and completely. Deep breath. 
tapping all over the head. High part of me that wants to lash out at the world. Inside of the eyebrows, punish the catalyst to the trigger. Outside of the eyes. I acknowledge you in the eyes. I know it feels like they're the cause of these feelings. I'm going to rub the lips, and it might feel a little safer to go into claim mode. And then the collarbone, then to open up the childhood wounds. Get all the sternum blade. But the truth is, ribs. If we attack the catalyst out of the body, the inner child is still going to feel alone. Wrist. Abandoned. Other wrist. not seen or heard. Breathe all over the head. And we're not reaching out to the inner child inside of the eyebrows to get pulled into the old trauma. outside of the eyes, but to pull them out of the trauma and bring them back into current time. Under the eyes, it's possible it's safe to address this now. And then we'll go to the lips. It's possible I have everything I need. Open, breathe. Hi, inner child. I feel you in my body. Ribs, I know your feelings so scared. Out of the body. And add any emotion that your child might be feeling confused, frustrated, angry, powerless, whatever it might be. Right. The wrist. Okay to feel that way. And of course you feel that way. Inside of the eyebrows, breathe. I know this is reminding you of all the time. Outside of the eyes, you felt so scared and Powerless. Under the eyes, angry and confused. Under and above the lips, add any other emotions your inner child was feeling. Under the carbon. I know it's reminding you of all the times you were given the message that we don't 
you weren't enough, right? Your needs didn't matter. Out of the body, nobody really Rest. And feel free to add any other messages your young self was, was getting, any other beliefs issue they were developing. Yes, please. And the good news is, on the head, our circumstances have changed. Inside of the eyebrows, we are not little anymore. That's not fine. And you're not alone anymore. Under the eyes, I am right here. And I'm about the lips breathe. And I have so many resources and tricks you didn't have. Under the collarbone that those around you didn't have. And I will turn in. And I want you to know that you matter. Your ribs, your knees matter. Side of your body. Your pacing and your nervous system matter. Yes. And I'm so sorry for all the times I tried to rush you. I rest. Ignored you. Focus on the external catalyst for your triggers rather than on your feeling inside of the eyebrow. Then I'm learning to stay with you outside of the eyes to attune to you in the eyes in the ways that you weren't back then. You're in the both the lips. And when and if we put, release some of these old beliefs, the collarbone old coping strategy. Now turn them. It won't be because anybody pressured you to ribs. It'll be because you want to. Out of the body because you're tired of holding all of this. Rest because all you ever wanted was to feel seen. Other rest, safe. And heard and validated inside of the eyebrows breathe. None of this is your fault. Outside of the eyes. We are not responsible for others' reactions. Under the eyes. This is not personal. It is on them. Under the carbon breathe. I love you. Sternum. 
but I want for you more than anything else is for you to feel free. Ribs. Be able to relax and let go. Good. Let's pause with the tapping, take a deep breath. And if you and your young self feel ready, no need to rush it. If you don't, you can stop the video here. But if you do, you can hold whatever got activated for your young self, all the emotions, beliefs, whatever that might be, any protective coping strategies, and to them, recognizing how much they helped your young self survive, feel powerless, and also starting to feel into how they might not be serving anymore. In fact, they're probably recreating the very feelings and type of situation they were meant to help again. And so if and when you feel ready, again, the pressure, you and your young self can release the emotions, the beliefs, Strength strategies, releasing any forward that are tying you to them. Once we've done that, we can pop the trauma capsule that one part got pulled back into. Push. Watch your younger self, the cells, bring them into your heart. Fast forward to current time, so that they have full access to the present, to the current situation and places and environment. When you're ready, tapping all over your body, shaking your body out. That feels comfortable and such. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you're interested in doing deeper inner child work with me, there's a link below that will guide you to a free 30 minute consultation. Thank you so much.